The Owen James Report is brought to you by NCB Insurance Omni Educator Policy. Dear Mommy and Daddy, just a few months of college left and I just kind of wanted to say thank you. You guys worked hard and sacrificed to let me follow my dreams all the way to university. We knew we had to start saving early so Karen could go to university. We knew we had to make the necessary sacrifices. The Omni Educator grant and top of our regular savings really make a difference. I love you, Mommy and Daddy. Your daughter, Kareen. Make your child's dream come true starting today with an NCB Insurance Omni Educator policy. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. Three powerful private sector groups, the Private Sector Organization of Jamaica, the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce, and the Jamaica Manufacturers Association have chastised the government for not appointing a new board at the National Housing Trust in the wake of the outer many controversy. The groups have called for an immediate review of the governance structure at the NHT while the nation awaits the outcome of audits by the Contractor General and the Auditor General. In a statement today, the private sector groups said they were deeply disappointed that the opportunity has been missed to restore public confidence in this critical national institution and expressed fear that governance concerns could negatively affect investor confidence in the wider economic reforms being undertaken by the Jamaican government. All three regularly traded international currencies strengthened against the Jamaican dollar today. The benchmark American dollar gained 10 cents Jamaican, closing at a new record high average selling rate of $113.49. The Canadian dollar gained 2 cents Jamaican to close at $100.44. And sterling jumped by 81 cents Jamaican to close at an average selling rate of $178.21. Global oil prices could tumble to $70 a barrel. That's the word from Jeffrey Gundlach, CEO and Chief Investment Officer of Double Line, and one acknowledged by Wall Street as the new bond king. His observation came today while crude oil plunged almost 2.5% to $80.52 a barrel, the lowest price since June 2012. Gunlack told colleagues at a fixed income conference today that oil is going to fall to $70 and when that comes, it's goodbye to fracking, which will become too expensive if $70 a barrel oil is available. Now, fracking refers to the procedure of creating fractures in rock formations, thus forcing the oil and natural gas to flow to points where they can be extracted. News on the Jamaican stock market now, where losses by Alaska distributors and the big two banking groups, NCB and Scotia, triggered falls in the indices today. The main JC index declined by 384 points, or half a percent. 23 stocks traded with 6 advancing, 8 declining and 9 holding firm. Winners included DNG, General Accident up 4%, Grace Kennedy, Lime and Proven Investments. The losers included Blue Power down 11%, Lasco Distributors, NCB, Salada Foods and Scotia Group Jamaica. Several managers at Grace Kennedy are smiling this season. The Grace Canada Board has approved stock grants of almost 3 million shares for 6 executives and 20 other management officers. This became effective on Monday, November 24. Still in market news, Proven Investments now holds a fifth of junior market company Nutsford Express. Analysts at VM Wealth see several positives for Nutsford Express, including lower fuel prices and a boost to internal travel as individuals gain more disposable income in a growing economy. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report is brought to you by NCB Insurance Omni Educator Policy. Call us today.